Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Reba Haley. I'm a therapist and the executive director of Tampa Bay Mission of Hope. And what we do at our ministry is we uh, distribute food uh, to the community uh, on a weekly basis. What we're doing with this healthy initiative is we've been putting recipes from the foods that we get donated. We've been putting recipes in the bags for families so that they can uh, learn how to make uh, meals from what we get donated. For an example, last week we received zucchini and bokoi and carrots and different kinds of mushrooms, um, cilantro, and a lot of people don't know how to cook with that those things. So we develop recipes and we show people how to cook certain things and we're trying to work on being healthy. And that's what we're working on today. We're going to be talking about, uh, here I just want to give some statistics on the health disparities and th this initiative really is to help us to become healthier and build our immune system and really learn how to cook different kinds of things that are healthy for us. Now, for example, for me, a public disclosure, um, I don't eat meat. I don't eat chicken. I don't eat steak. I don't eat pork. Uh, I don't eat turkey. I only eat fish. Um, and that's since about three or four years ago. Um, I've just, just no longer had a desire to eat meat. And I have felt much better and I've lost 20 pounds as a result of not eating you know not eating meat and then I cut back on my sugar intake like but I still have sins if cakes and pies and peach cobbler and banana pudding and homemade ice cream is a sin for me then I'm sinning but I'm not eating meat and I try to minimize my bread I used to just love everything every meal I had to have I have to have bread it's like and I, my mother raised me when she cooked meal for my father we sat at the table and every meal had two things, a dessert and a bread. And so I grew up with that and every meal, dessert or bread. So I'm trying to break some old habits. But um, today I want to just talk about health initiatives and what, we, what, what, what I want to in, encourage you to do as far as eating healthy. But I will first want to give some statistics on what's happening in, with the African-American community. As we know, uh, what's going on with the... Um, COVID-19, it's really, it's really, really not good. It's not good for us as a people. So I want to just give some statistics on the health disparities by African-Americans. 48% uh, of adults are obese. Uh, the high rates of severe childhood obesity. 80% are more likely to be diagnosed with diabetes. These are African-American disparities statistics. 2.4% uh, 2, 2 um, are more likely to begin treatment for end-stage renal disease. 1.7 more are likely to be hospitalized and 20% are more likely to have vision impairment from diabetes and what old folks used to call sugar. And so heart disease, men are 30% and women are 60% more likely to have high blood pressure, less likely to keep their blood pressure under control, and men have twice the risk of first time strokes. And these are the, you know, the health disparities among African Americans. And so what we've tried to do with, uh, with, um, is to teach us how to eat healthier. For an example, I've made a shake today and I want to tell you about this, this smoothie. Okay. So in the mornings, like we receive a spinach, uh, we receive spinach, carrots, and blueberries. So out of this drink, I used blueberries, which is a great antioxidant. And this is good. And I really, and I put it in a blender. I used blueberries, banana, I also used um, a, a carrots and spinach and a kiwi. And, uh, and so I try to uh, get fruits and vegetables in my diet every day with an apple, orange, or some kind of fruit because it's really important to have those fruits and vegetables, not only to, for us to be healthy, but to build our immune system. So that's one of the things in this health initiative that we're doing hope for you. All right. And so it's hope for you to be healthy. All right. So that's the statistics on that. So we do want to work on becoming uh, more healthier and building our self-esteem. I mean, building our immune system. And so I'm going to talk about some key things that we can do. And I've just written down a few notes on that. One of the things we can do is our diet. Um, for an example, I lost 20 pounds because I stopped eating meat. But then again, I stopped eating a lot of sugars. Uh, I live in Florida. I mean, tea is the thing here. You know, so I stopped, uh, you know, I just minimized my sugar intake. And I don't try to do anything white like white rice. I try to do brown rice. Um, I try to use brown rice and brown sugars. And I have a garden, for an example, like this is lettuce from my garden, right? I grow my own vegetables. And so I grow lettuce, I have collard greens, and uh, 
onion and uh, turnips. And so I also have hens. This is an egg from my hen coop. So I go, I, I have brown eggs. So these are organic and I, I feed my hens really good because I want brown eggs and I want healthy eggs. So I would rather for me and my thought pattern is I rather invest in vitamins and chickens and, 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 and vegetables than pay the doctor a co a co fee, you know, a co a co payment for seeing a doctor. So that's so I take vitamins and we're gonna talk about that as far as the health part of it. Uh, with with the diet, it's one of the things is to build our immune system and to be healthy is to um, eat low fat diet. You know, low fat diets help build the immune system. Um, you know, and it's it's just not what you eat, it's just how much you eat of something. You know, like you can't eat a lot of fried foods, you know, and if you eat meat, you just can't eat a lot of red meat. Red meat is takes so longer to digest in your body. So you can do baked chicken or you can do different kinds of chicken, but you want to stay away from that salt and try to use other salt substitutes and things like that that don't that don't increase your high blood pressure and your hypertension. So those are just some, some tidbits. Um also um vitamins. I take vitamin for me. People say, How do you look so good? What do you do? I take vitamins and my, I, I drink a lot of water. I try to stay as hydrated. Matter of fact, I'll take a sip. I try to stay hydrated as possible because it's important just to drink that water. I mean, this is the best thing we can have is some water, you know, so drink some water. Okay, so I take vitamins and vitamin C builds your immune system. Vitamin E also is good. Um, uh, a vitamin C, vitamin E, what else did I say? A vitamin D as well is good as well. And I also take a lot of supplements. I mean, I just, in the mornings, I, just, I take a multivitamin and, you know, and then I walk or I swim or I do some kind of physical activity. Uh, you know, it's like not what you do, but just do something, you know, just start to do something. Um, because if you eat, if you eat something, then you're going to have to pay for it. And so you pay for it as exercising or working out or something like that. Um, a zinc is good to help build immune system and sleep is one of the most important things that we could do really and to, to live stress free as a therapist i know we've been under a lot of stress uh, doing this COVID 19 and it's so important to uh, just kind of relax and ride it out and have hope hopefully and prayerfully you have a faith in god and just trust that it's going to work out and just stay positive because it will work out It'll work out the way it's supposed to work out for you if you have that kind of faith and if you just believe. And I think positivity is a key thing in this in this world we live in is to know it'll be okay. This too shall pass. We just take it one day at a time. And I, the serenity prayer has helped me. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. So when I say that prayer, I'm just like, I just, I can't control it and I can't stress about it. And, you know, God, it's going to be okay. You know, and then I want to be healthy. So stress is one of the things that can really uh, accelerate your, you know, and, and terminate or or uh, shorten your life expectancy is stress. And forgiving people is key to minimizing stress. Uh, because when I forgive, when we forgive others, I'm really giving peace to myself. I want peace. So I forgive you and we forgive others because I want to be at peace. And, um, and I want to live peaceful. And I, you know, so... I don't, uh, I, I I make it a point to, just in my own personal life, and I tell this to my clients as well, to minimize your interaction with people that are unhealthy, or, you know, and just bless them and send them on their way. I mean, and they're just going through a situation right now, and this too shall pass, and bless them and let them go on, and don't, try not to internalize that stress, which is going to make you sick, but love people and give them, some people have to be fed at arm's length as my granny say, at arm's length, you know, but you love them and you bless them. But some people you just can't be around if they're just too unhealthy or too toxic, you know, and they're just not going in a positive direction if they're stressing you, you know. And so when you start loving yourself and taking care of yourself, you'll start eating healthy. You know, how I lost 20 pounds, I took off my clothes one day and I said, I don't like how I look. It's like, it's like, okay, so I got to do something about this. And this just came to me to just change my diet, you know, and, uh, and it's been good. It's really been good for me. You know, it's like, you know, I, you know, I was really, I was in them two, two hundreds. I was like, huh, not happening, you know? And so, and so I thank God that I was able to do it. And it's with anything. If you can do something for three days, you could, three days is like a breaking of any other habit. I'm an addiction therapist and I work with people that's addicted to drugs or addicted to sex or addicted to something. And I talk about how to break those kind of addictions and 
And it's really in your mind. It's like setting up your mind and making sure that you don't put yourself in those kind of situations that will bring stress to you and cause you to want to overeat or to stress, you know, being stressful situations that will cause you to be addicted to food and overeat or, you know, anxious. And, and sometimes you can't get out of those situations that you're in, but sometimes you can just make a exit strategy plan to eventually, um, you know, uh, you know, leave those environments that are not healthy for you. But, you know, it's about healthy living. So your mental health is very important. You know, I encourage people to go see people. I mean, listen, one thing about African-Americans, we don't think we need to see a therapist. I've seen a therapist. I am a therapist, you know, and I have a therapist, you know. Why? Because I'm committed to my mental health. I'm committed to being healthy. And I believe that, uh, that, 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 that having a therapist and talking to a therapist and having somebody to talk about things with is beneficial for my life and for my health and they just help you kind of process things when you kind of get when you can't see it and when you leave they okay you like you see clear and so the best therapy you can do is take care of yourself and that's one thing so taking care of your mental and your emotional health is key to self-care i love me enough to take care of myself so i take care of myself mentally i take care of myself physically i watch what i put in my body my body is the temple so i want to make sure that i'm okay because i want to live a long life and i want to live a healthy life and i want to live a good quality life so i don't want to have high blood pressure or hypertension and i don't want to have things that you know, my vision impaired because I've chosen not to, not to maintain my diet. And the key is just crucifying your flesh. Really. It's, it's just with anything else, it's like smoking or coffee or anything. It's just making a conscious decision that I am going to control my flesh. The scripture says about Paul and I use scriptures to reference things, but Paul says, I crucify my flesh. I mean, I take control over what goes in my mouth. I do that. I take control. I make a choice. We make choices, you know, I choose if I want to eat this or I choose if I don't. So it's so important to realize that today we have choices. And so it's just trying to make better choices. And when we see the disparities among African-Americans, we know that we need to make better choices and we need to live healthier lives. One of those is start eating well. In the mornings, I can have oatmeal. Uh, this is, I, I can take oatmeal. We get oatmeal donated. So you can take oatmeal. You can use blueberries. I told you about the blueberries. So I put... Uh, these are some blueberries we got donated. I put these blueberries in my, I put them in my oatmeal. I do. I put it in my oatmeal. And I just, throughout the day, you know, I'm just, yeah, you know, out the day. <laughs> you know, just eating some blueberries, you know, because they're healthy for you. And so that's so important to, you know, it's so important to have that, you know, um, you know, to make sure that you're eating healthy. And that you're taking care of your mental health and that you're drinking plenty of water. You know, you can't drink a lot of coffee and a lot of sodas and a lot of mood and mind altering chemicals, you know. And you just, when you love yourself, you start taking better care, care of yourself. And so I encourage you with this healthy initiative that we have that you learn and to, 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 to take better care of yourself. Listen, above all, I wish that thou would prosper and be in health even as thy soul prosper. I want your soul to prosper. I want you to have a house. I want you to have a job. I want you to have a car. I want you to have all the good things that life can bring to you and all that God will give you, but I also want you to be healthy. I want you to be healthy so you can have a quality of life. When you look at our healthcare system and the disparities in our healthcare system, you have to take, we have to take responsibilities. I have to take responsibility for my health. I cannot rely on a system, a person, I have to work with what I work with. I have to play the hand that I've been dealt. And whatever hand that is, that's the hand I have to play. And if it's not a hand that I enjoy, then I fold and I get two more cards out of life. And I play that hand. And I play the hand till I find success in my life. Until I become a healthy individual. And I don't. And so as a result of that, that is the mission in life. Is to make quality decisions and to be healthy. And to do what is right and not depend on other people. Because other people people if somebody else is not happy if they're not healthy they can't help you become healthy people can't take you somewhere they have never been and oftentimes i talk about disappointments and expectations in others to support your your desires to lose weight or 
You know, you have to get in a focus group or you have to find somebody, you have to get a therapist, somebody who's going to cheer you on, someone who's going to celebrate you and not tolerate you and say, you could do it, girl, you can make it, you can lose the weight. Uh, we started Women Building Women. Women Building Women is a, a ministry that I started where I started teaching women about business development because I own several businesses and I, you know, do a lot of business things and I, I do real estate and I'm a broker and I own a real estate company, but we do just a lot of things and it's really teaching women how to be, how to how empower you to be successful and to be healthy healthy and to be wealthy but most of all to be healthy because if you what does it profit a woman or a man to gain the whole white world and you lose your health I mean you know you want to have quality of life you want to have good health and you want to be able to live a healthy life but you have to do that uh, by eating right and taking care of yourself and that's the most important thing you can do that's the most important thing that you can do for yourself is eat well that's the most important thing you can do and that's just taking it like life one day at a time it's like okay I need to I need to eat well, I need to drink plenty of water, I need to work on being me, I need to do what I need to do in order to be healthy. And you can do this. And so I just want to encourage you, listen, start drinking healthy drinks in the morning. I drink one of these a day. You can also put uh, yogurt in it. You, you can put yogurt in it, banana, um, oranges, orange juice. You, I used the apple juice in this one, but sometimes you can use orange juice. And if you use orange juice, I would encourage you to use the one with less sugar. And if you use a lot of fruits, but I try to use, um, for me, I try to use two part vegetables, one part fruit. So this has carrots and spinach. And then I have um, the banana. And then I also put a mango in here. I just, but I just, but I try to put more fruits and vegetables in here. You know? And, I, and then I also put water. And I also use protein powder. Because if I don't eat meat, I therefore, uh, you know, I therefore eat, uh, I use, I eat a lot of beans, lentils. And, uh, you know, and a lot of salads, as I said, I grow them in my garden. So I went outside yesterday and just grabbed some out my backyard and washed them and, and you know, and ate them. But I want to just encourage you. So with healthy living, so I'm going to be doing recipes just on different things to help you become healthy and to encourage you to live your best life and live it in a healthy way. You know, just make up your mind. You want to be healthy and just do it. But you can do it. It's just having a made up mind. If I could stop eating meat and I, look, I don't have no problem with chicken. I always love chicken. <laughs> But it was just time to let the chicken go. So if I could do it, you can do it. So I encourage you to live your best life and live your best life, not tomorrow, but today. Make a conscious decision to change what you eat and how you eat and to live healthy. But you can only do it one day at a time. All right, I'm Dr. Rita Haley. And thank you for visiting um, my page. Please like and subscribe. Ring the notification bell. All right, thank you for sharing and please share.